Today, we will be working on level of detail in Tableau. It is a complicated topic, so some basic knowledge of Tableau would be good in order to proceed with this. Let's look at the definition of level of detail first. So, this, this definition is picked up from Tableau documentation. You can simply type level of detail Tableau in Google and it'll help you, it'll guide, the first result will guide you there. Level of detail expressions allow you to compute values at the data source level and the visualization level. However, level of detail expressions give you even more control on the level of granularity you want to compute. They can be performed at a more granular, granular level, include a less granular level, exclude, or an independent level, fix. The most important thing that you have to focus in this definition is that LOD gives you more control over your visualizations. In this video, we'll go through include, exclude, and fix type of LOD one by one. First of all, let's look at the syntax, syntax of constructing an LOD. We start by adding a curly bracket. Then we give, in all caps, we give the keyword. Is it an include LOD, an exclude, or fix? Then in square brackets, we put the name of the dimension. The name of the dimension is optional. We'll see how that works in the fixed level of detail. Then a colon and the measure that you have to calculate. The measure must be given, that is not optional. And then finally, you have to close it with a curly bracket. Let's start by understanding the fixed level of detail. This data I'm currently using is a Walmart data. It is an open source data that you can find on Kaggle. And any superstore data would work since it has many category, many dimensions and measures. It's really easy to tabulate and uh, show the differences in each LOD. So we will start by fixed LOD. Now I have here the categories of products that I sell. And within each category, there is a subcategory of product that I sell. Let us look at the sales of each of those. Okay. Going into analytics, I'll add the totals to each. Now, I'm going to go ahead and define a fixed level of detail. I'll name it fixed subcategory. When you're working with uh, actual graphs that require LOD, name it to be something useful. Since it's a trial, we are working with uh, names that help us recognize what LOD is well. So first of all, a curly bracket, followed by fixed in all caps. Now I'm going to give the dimension name as the, the dimension name as the subcategory. One option is to start a square bracket and write in subcategory. The second and easier option is just simply drag and drop. Then I'll put a colon and once again, I'll drag and drop the sum of sales. Now, what is this statement saying? It says, fix the subcategory and then so give me a summation of the sales. Let us try and understand it after we see what it does. So, adding it here, what happens here? Okay, so we'll add one more parameter so it gets easier for you to understand. Now, let's add fixed category again, defining it as fixed category tab. Star, uh, curly bracket fixed. I'll put in category over here. All in sum of sales and curly bracket again. We'll apply it and add it here. You'll see this green pop up as soon as you apply it. Add it here. Okay. Okay, so let's define one more and then we'll work with it all together. 
now i mentioned previously that the option uh, that it is optional to give a dimension now i'm going to work with fixed all i say fixed okay sorry i forgot the curly bracket i say fixed then i go i don't mention anything here i put a colon and i simply put in sum of sales again curly bracket and apply i got it here and i add it now let's see this is my sum of sales okay and in fix subcategory what it does is it takes a subcategory sums it up and puts it over here but when i tell them that do the same for the categories then it takes the category each category individually and irrespective of where you are in that category it'll give you the sum of category it won't consider the subcategory similarly when i say fix all i say just give me the sum of sales there is nothing else that exists here so no matter what happens you will get the total sum of sales let's see what happens if i apply a filter here i'll show filter for category and show filter for subcategory now uh, let me remove furniture from this altogether you'll see that none of the summations for all or category change even though see the sum over here has changed but the sum here is still the total sum of sales that were shown before what so what you understand from fix basically is it is independent of any filters you apply once you have told it that take this category or take this subcategory sum it up and give me the total of it now whatever filter you apply irrespective of that you will get that filter but what if we want to use it in a graph okay i want to figure out i have a lot of products okay i have a lot of products and some make profit others do not so if i look at a graph right now i'll change the axis to make it look better okay now look at the graph right now it does not look that good i'll give you the entire view it isn't easy to decipher there's so many it doesn't look good what if i ask you how many uh, of these are profit making and how many of them are not there's so many little little minus 187 that you might miss out on right now so how to make this visualization better i'll add create calculated field fixed or we'll say profit by n now star curly bracket sorry fixed product name sum of profit and here's where it gets interesting you put greater than zero and curly bracket again the calculation is valid let me apply it i'll just close it and now i'll put it over here as a filter okay and we say show filter all now if i'm asked show me all the values with where it doesn't make a profit simple show me all the values where it makes a profit simple and you can even remove right now you can even remove the sum of profit and add sales here and you can individually see the number of uh, number of uh, commod the sale of commodities that make profit and the sale of commodities that make loss but let's stick to the original statement that is figuring out if how many items make profit and how many items lose money so i'll put here and i'll put this here i would ask them to consider it as a measure and count it see okay let me just give it a nice label 
show marked labels now it is really easy to decipher that yes 1341 are profit making and 153 are not so this way level of detail helped us get more control over our data and easily decipher and calculate what you want what we wanted to see so let's now work on exclude level of detail once again we are going to construct the same graph of same table of category and subcategory and let's put in sum of sales and the values that we want to see and see the totals okay. now we are going to work with exclude level of detail on these we'll create a create calculated field i'll name this exclude subcat and curly bracket exclude subcategory colon sum of sales curly bracket close and the cal calculation is valid okay again drop Uh, let me work through the other two uh, types of exclude and then it will be easier to understand. Exclude category curly bracket exclude drag and drop category colon sum of sales curly bracket. Okay. And dropping this over here. So let's see what happens here. When I say exclude subcategory, let me just show you the code that I'm referring to. When I say exclude subcategory, sum of sales, I get the sum of sales of each category. What so what happens here is what Tableau does is it pretends that subcategory does not exist on your graph. You tell Tableau that I know subcategory is here, but I want you to pretend that subcategory does not exist and calculate sum of sales then. So, Tableau goes on, it excludes subcategories from our calculations and gives us the sum accordingly. This is how exclude works. Now we saw in fix that when we changed the filters, the uh, values didn't change. But what if we change the filters? Let me put in subcategory filter. What if we remove a few subcategories here? Let's see furniture in the category furniture, the subcategory bookcases. I'll remove this. So right now it shows 252613. When I remove bookcases, I get 216609. So you see that there's this one big difference between exclude and uh, fixed is that fixed is completely independent of any filter you might be using, while exclude is not. It'll show the change with filter in the values. So now let's understand, understand include. Include is basically the opposite of exclude okay so here in each category in each category of product i have a segment as well right so i'll show you these in each category there are three segments corporate consumer and home office and each of them have some sales and some profits that they're making Let's see the totals. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and define some include category fun uh, functions and you'll be able to understand it then. So, include subcat. Hold on. We'll include segments. Curly bracket include segment in 
sum of sales. Curly bracket again. Okay. I'll put it over here. Now, you'll see it shows pretty much the same thing, which is obvious because, as I said, ex include works opposite of exclude. So while exclude says that pretend that this does not exist, include says pretend it does exist. And right now, include is doing exactly that. It is seeing a segment and it's summing up with sales and that's sum of sales as well. But I'll change this a little, okay? I would say max of this. So measure max. Now, you'll see the value in the total column change. Instead of the summation, it's giving me the maximum sum. So in each category, the segment with the maximum sum of sales. That's what the total gives me right now. What if I delete the segment altogether? we still get the maximum of each segment as our uh, category values. So, here's what's happening. Now, if I had just put in a maximum of sum of sales, then it would have given me maximum sum of sales from furniture, which is not what we need, right? So, here's what's happening. When we work with, uh, I'll show you the... We said, I know segment is not there in the sheet, but pretend it is there and then sum up all the sales for that segment. And Tableau did that. Then we told them that out of all those sums, sums for each segment, tell me the maximum of the maximum that you receive. And that's what we get here. So this is how we can use include, exclude and fix. Once again, a quick review. Fixed is independent of all filters that you may work with. And exclude pretends that a certain parameter does not exist in your uh, Tableau visualization, while include pretends that it does, does exist there. That's all for level of detail. Hope it was helpful.